Some of you may have gotten stuck in stop and go traffic on Interstate 85 this afternoon. Well, the crash brought down some power lines and put businesses in the dark. And Fox Carolina's Jennifer Phillips live in Greenville, where crews are still working to fix those lines. What a mess out there, Jen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've been working for several hours. As you mentioned, they're still out here. You can see them right here behind me. They've been working since this morning, and all of this started when we're told that construction crews working on the Gateway project hit power lines just above I-85. Customer after customer turned themselves around at the door because of signs like this one posted at businesses off Woodruff Road in Greenville. I was just here to get dog food. This sign at Petco states, closed. Sorry, no power. And there are similar signs at other businesses at shops at the point. Years ago, I owned the business on Woodruff Road when they were widening it. Becky Navarik often drives Woodruff Road to get to where she needs to go. I just saw the officers directing traffic and noticed that the lights were black. Traffic lights and power went out before the sun came up because police say construction crews working on the Gateway Project hit power lines above I-85 near exit 51. Very frustrating. Investigators say the driver of an SUV hit the line, which caused the power poles to fall on both sides of the interstate. Any traffic delays always makes it horrible. Crews work for hours to get the poles back up and the power to some areas back on. Customers need to do what they need to do and it's bad for the businesses, especially the locally owned ones. To get those poles back up, crews pulled wires across Interstate 85 and troopers led a rolling delay that slow traffic. I feel bad for the businesses because it was hard for us when our power would get knocked out. So we're told the driver had to go to a hospital and be treated for injuries, but is expected to be okay. Right now, we know 30 customers are still without power, but that power is expected to be back on by 6.30. Cody? So, Jen, right now behind you, it looks like they're just trying to set these lines back up. We can see a lot of crews still out there. Well, as we mentioned earlier, the lines have already crossed the interstate, so they're still working on them. As you just said, you can see that they're still working, just trying to get them where they need to be. So, again, they've been out here for several hours working on this, and we're told that everyone should have their power restored again by 630. Cody, back to you.